Okay, so today's prophetic word is going to be keep running. God is instructing us to keep running. Akaye. So what I'll be doing first is I'll be reading scripture. Akaye. Okay, da, 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 I say, and then I'll be reading the revelation that God gave me. So I'll be reading out of John chapter seven, and it says, after this, Jesus went about in Galilee. He would not go about in Judea because the Jews were seeking to kill him. Now the Jews feast of booth, feast of booth was at hand. So his brother said to him, leave here and go to Judea that your disciples may also see the works you are doing. For no one works in secret if he seeks to be known openly. If you do these things, if you do these things, show yourself to the world. For not even his brothers believed in him. Jesus said to them, my time has not yet come, but your time is always here. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me because I testify about because I testify about it, that its works are evil. You go, you go up to the feast. I am not yet going up to, to this feast, for my time has not yet fully come. After saying this, he remained in Galilee. But after his brothers had gone up to the feast, then he also went up, not publicly, but in private. The Jews were looking for him at the feast and saying, where is he? And there was much muttering about him among the people. While some said he is a good man, others said, no, he is leading the people astray. Yet, for the fear of the Jews, no one spoke openly of him. About the middle of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and began teaching. The Jews therefore marveled, saying, how is it that this man has learning? when he has never studied. So Jesus answered them, my teaching is not mine, but he is who sent me. If anyone's will is to do God's will, he will know whether the teaching is from God or whether I am speaking on my own authority. The one who speaks on his own authority seeks his own glory, but the one who seeks the glory of him who sent him is true. And in him, there is no falsehood. Has not Moses given you the law, yet none of you keeps the law? Why do you seek to kill me? The crowd answered him, you have a demon who is seeking to kill you. Jesus answered them, I did one work and you all marvel at it. Moses gave you circumcision, not that it is from Moses, but from the fathers. And you circumcise a man on the Sabbath. If on the Sabbath, a man receives circumcision so that the law of Moses may not be broken. Are you angry with me because on the Sabbath, I made a man's whole body well? Do not judge by appearances, but judge with right judgment. Some of the people of Jerusalem therefore said, Is not this the man whom they seek to kill? And here he is speaking openly and they say nothing to him. Can it be that the authorities really know that this is the Christ? But we know where this man comes from. And when the Christ appears, no one will know where he comes from. So Jesus proclaimed as he taught in the temple, you know me and you know where I come from, but I have not come of my own accord. He who sent me is true and him you do not know. I know him for I come from him and he sent me. So they were seeking to arrest him, but no one laid a hand on him because his hour had not yet come. Yet many of the people believed in him. They said, when the Christ appears, will he do more signs than this man has done? The Pharisees heard the crowd muttering these things about him and the chief priests and the Pharisees sent officers to arrest him. Jesus then said, I will be with you a little longer and then I am going to and then I am going to him who sent me. You will seek me and you will not find me. Where I am, you cannot come. The Jews said to one another, where does this man intend to go that we will not find him? Does he intend to go to the dispersion among the Greeks and teach the Greeks? 
What does he mean by saying, you will seek me and you will not find me? And where, and where I am, you cannot come. On the last day of the feast, the great day, Jesus stood up and cried out. If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, and as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Now this he said about the spirit whom those who believed in him were to receive. For as yet the spirit had not been given because Jesus was not yet glorified. When they heard, when they heard these words, when they heard these words, some of the people said, this really is the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But some said, is the Christ to come from Galilee? Has not the scripture said that Christ that the Christ comes from the offspring of David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David was. So there was a so there was a division among the people over him. Some of them wanted to, some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. The officers then came to the chief priests and the Pharisees, who said to them, "Why did you not bring him?" The officers answered, "No one has." ever spoke like this man the pharisees answered them have you also been deceived have any of the authorities of the pharisees believed in him but this crowd does not know but this crowd that does not know the law is a curse nicodemus who had gone to him before and who was one of them said to them does our law judge a man without first giving him a hearing and learning what he does and they replied are you from galilee too Search and see that no prophet, search and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. They went each to his own house. Okay, so today's prophetic word is going to be keep running. So God is instructing us. And if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my notes. God is instructing us to keep running. And do not miss God. God gave me. Do not miss God because he's using someone whom you perceive that he is not capable of using. Do not miss God because he's using someone whom you perceive he is not capable of using. And he's instructing us to do not lean on our own understanding or our own perception. And he gave me Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 through 6. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. So God is instructing us to do not lean on our own understanding and our own perception. And he also gives us that we must judge with right judgment. And John chapter John chapter 7, verse 24, it says, Do not judge by appearances, but judge with, with right judgment. So God is instructing us to judge with right judgment. And God gave me, my sheep know me. God is saying that his sheep knows him. In John chapter 10, verse 27, verse 28, 27 through 28, it says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. So God is saying that his sheep know him. So you will know. You should know. It should be verification for you of what God has already told you. Whatever you are hearing from God and whenever you are hearing from someone, it should be already verified by God. You should already know. You should already be able to hear and recognize and understand God's voice. That is God speaking to you. That is God calling you. And John chapter 7, Akaye, let's see. I see. 
Okay, in John chapter 7, verse uh, 17, it says, If anyone's will is to do God's will, he will know whether the teaching is from God or whether I am speaking on my own authority. So if your will is to do God's will, you recognize God. You recognize God's teaching. You recognize you recognize God's voice. You are Kaye. You will recognize his spirit. So you will know. It should be verification for you of what God has already told you. So this person, this place, or this thing, or whatever God chooses to use, Akaye. Ah, uh, that I said. Should this person should be seeking God's glory, Akaye, and not their own? They should be they should be glorifying God. Whatever God chooses to use, this person, this place, or this thing, it should always be pointing you back to God, Akaye. They should be seeking God's glory and not their own. Da -da 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 so. It's important to know that everybody, it's important to know that Jesus knew and understood that he was called and sent by God. Akaye, Jesus knew and understood that he was sent and called by God. He confessed that his teaching was not his own, but that it was God's. Akaye. Let's see let's see i'm looking for the scripture where jesus he says in john chapter 7 the jews therefore marveled saying how is it that this man has learning when he has never studied so jesus answered them my teaching is not mine but he is who sent me so Jesus knew and understood that he was called and sent by God. He confessed that his teachings were not his, but God's. Whatever God is calling you to, whatever God is calling you to do, God wants you to know and understand that everybody is not going to believe what you believe. Everybody is not going to believe what you believe. Mm. But God says, but what or whom are you going to choose? The choice is yours. You mustn't be influenced by other people's opinions and decision. Whatever God is calling you to do, everybody is not going to believe in what you believe in. But what or whom are you going to choose? The choice is yours. You mustn't be influenced by other people's opinions and decisions. Akaye. Akaye. So, Akaye. And you also cannot be afraid to speak up. Akaye. You see, there was a division among the people akaye because some people were saying jesus is the christ and some people were saying that he couldn't be the, the christ because they knew him they knew where he came from they felt that they knew that jesus had came from galilee and they were saying has a prophet ever came from galilee akaye they were doubting but you mustn't be influenced. You have your own choice to make. Also, you cannot be afraid to speak up. In John chapter 7, verse 13, it says, Yet for the fear of the Jews, no one spoke openly of him. So listen, there were some people that believed in Jesus and there were some people that didn't believe in Jesus. But because they were afraid of the Jews... They would not speak openly. Those who did believe, they wouldn't speak openly and say, I believe that this is the Christ. Akaye. I know that this is the Christ. I believe that this is Jesus. Akaye. They refused to say that because they were afraid. So God is instructing us. You cannot be afraid to speak up. The call and the anointing that you have on your life it requires you 
to stand up and speak boldly. The call and the anointing that you have on your life requires you to stand up and speak out boldly. It's a requirement. It requires courage. Akaye. And God gave me the scripture. What can man do to me? Akaye. So, I see. In Psalms chapter 118 verse 6, it says, The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Akaye. Akaye. So God is referring back to you being courageous. If God is on your side, is if God is for you, what can man do to you? God is in control. God is sovereign. Akaye. God gave me what can man do unto me? That's Psalm chapter 118, verse 6. He also led me to Isaiah 51. Okay, da, 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 I see. And let's see, it's verse 12 through 16. And it says, I, I am he who comforts you. Who are you that you are afraid of man who dies? Of the son of man who is made like grass and have forgotten the Lord your maker who stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth. And you fear continually all the day because of the wrath of the oppressor when he sets himself to destroy. And where is the wrath of the oppressor? He who is bowed down shall be speedily released. He shall not die and go to and go down to the pit. Neither shall his bread be lacking. I am the Lord your God who stirs up the sea so that its waves roar. The Lord of hosts is his name. And I have put my words in your mouth and covered you in the shadow of my hand. Establishing, establishing the heavens and laying the foundations of the earth and saying to Zion, you are my people. So God is instructing us that we mustn't have fear of man. So when I was looking at scripture, I seen that when Jesus was speaking and he asked him, he said, why are you seeking to kill me? Why do you seek to kill me? Now, if you look at the scripture closely, they were seeking to kill Jesus. It had already said that. They just didn't know that Jesus knew that they were seeking to kill him. So he called them out on it and said, why do you seek to kill me? But instead of admitting that they were seeking to kill him, they accused Jesus of having a demon. He said, they said, you have a demon. Who is seeking to kill you? Akaye. But if you read later on down in the passage, those who knew that they were seeking to kill Jesus, they said, is this, let me read it. Let me read it. Akaye. Because they said, is this not the man whom they're seeking to kill? And yet here he is speaking openly and they say nothing to him. Akaye. Okay, da, 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 I said. So God is telling us that people will accuse you of a lot of things. Akaye. Because the enemy is an accuser. Akaye, da, 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 I said. But God is telling us you cannot let this stop you. God is saying, keep going. Keep going. You must keep going. Keep running. Akaye. And God gave me an example. He gave me an example of like basketball players. Akaye. When they are at the free throw line and they bouncing the ball. And you got all these millions of people or this crowd of people in the stands. And they yelling and they stumping their feet and they boo. Or they like, let's go. Mm -mm, let's go. Mm. See, it's a lot of noise. It's a lot of noise and it's a lot of distraction. But. The position of the basketball player is they must focus in. They must be focused. They take their deep breath and they go for the shot. They go for the score. He also gave me in track when they're running track and they run a real fast. You have stands of people, a whole people in the stands. They loud, you know, they yelling. 
but the person who's running has to be determined, has to be focused on the finish line. Okay. So God is also telling us about the loudness, the distraction. Okay. The people in the stands. You're going to have people accusing. You're going to have people saying this. You're going to have people saying that. And your job is to remain focused. God is saying your call requires focus. It requires determination. It requires drive. Akaye. And God said, you have to know that you know that you know. God is saying you have to be sure. You have to know that you know that you know that this is God. That God called you to this. To do this. Akaye. And you must hold on firm to your faith. And God was also explained to me how we need to be aware of God's timing. See, listen, the disciples was trying to tempt Jesus, Akaye, into going to show his going to Judea to show himself, Akaye, and to do openly his miracles. They said, if you do this, if it is you that do this, ah, Akaye. Then, you know, they were telling him to go and show his disciples. But Jesus told them, he says, my time has not yet fully come. So God is telling us that we need to be aware of God's timing. God does not move or operate on your timing. On human timing. And God was also explaining to me how it's hard for people to understand what they do not. It's hard for people to believe what they do, do not or cannot understand. It is hard for people to believe what they do not or what they cannot understand. And God was explaining to me about how God has closed their eyes and ears. God has closed some people's eyes and ears. In John chapter 12, verse 40, it says, He has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts so they can, so they can neither see with their eyes nor understand with their hearts nor turn, and I would heal them. I am. What God is saying is, not everyone has understanding. Not everyone is able to perceive his spirit or understand his spirit because he has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts. Not all people, but some people. So God gave me that it is a gift from God if you can see and hear and understand what God is saying to you. We have to understand that it is a gift from God if you can see, if you can hear and understand what God is saying to you. God wants us to know that not everyone has this privilege. God reveals himself by his Holy Spirit to whom he chooses. God reveals himself by his Holy Spirit to whom he chooses. Okay. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 27, it says, All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. So, Akaye, God chooses whom he wants to reveal himself to. I say, we have to understand that everyone is not chosen. Everyone is not chosen by God. He selects who he wants to select. Akaye. And God reminded me of the scripture. Matthew verse Matthew chapter 22 verse 14 and it says, "For many are called, but few are chosen." Akaye. So God calls many of us, but few are chosen. So God is wanting us to know, do not miss 
your call. Do not miss your call. Do not miss God. Do not miss out on the opportunities that God has for you. When God tells you to do something, he was, he was also making this an important point. When God tells you to do something, it's not going to make sense to other people. Listen, I can't tell you the countless amount of times when God tells you to do something, it's not always going to make sense to other people. Some people going to think you crazy. They're going to think you out of your mind. They're going to think you lost it. Okay. But that goes back to what God said. You have to know that you know. As long as you stick with what God told you to do, don't worry about it. God going to come and verify. God going to put God going to put his hand right on it and let other people know this is me. Your job, our job is just to be obedient. Do, 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 I see. When God tells you to do something, it's not going to make sense. It's not always going to make sense to other people. A lot of people will be confused, but some people will understand. Akaye, those from God will understand. Those it is meant for. The person who God is calling, they will understand. Akaye, Akaye, da 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 Lord Father God we thank you for your word on today Lord God in the name of Jesus Father I pray in the name of Jesus that your word reaches the one whom you are calling Lord in the name of Jesus hallelujah and amen